Soul Family. Take a look at this, right? Okay, we got Team Gideon versus Team Mark. Mark is from RDC World, right? This is the Creators League, okay? The Creators League, which is a bunch of social media famous people. How in the world does people like Duke Dennis, Jesser, Kim Wilder, MMG, and more people get to be a part of Creators League? But other people that have social media cannot be a part of this just because other people that don't have a huge social media following can't be a part of the Creators League. It makes no sense. Let me tell you why, man. I even had to make my status on this. You see, the Creator Leagues on YouTube are supposed to have all social media users participate and not just let famous YouTubers, Instagrammers be the only ones to participate because it's people that's not social media famous who have talents and so spiritually awakened intuitional intelligence should be in these sporting events and Creators League events, but not they're not in it. The ones who have a under the radar social media following those that's underground they're not in the creators league which shows it's too much favoritism to social media famous people to be in these creator leagues which it needs to be stopped and has to be stopped like li literally man i'm gonna tell you right now anybody that has a social media they should be in the creators league playing on that basketball court or playing in any sporting event just like the so-called AMPs of the world, the RDC world group of the world, the Cam Wilders, the Cash Nasties, the Flight Reacts, you know, the Jeremy Jones of the world, you know, all these social media famous people that be in these creator leagues. They get a free ticket to the creators league because why? Let me tell you a deeper reason. The, cre the creators league only allows social media famous people who are a part of Freemasonry to be a part of these things, man. Man, bro, I'm going to tell you right now, people like myself, people like Young Luffy, people like all, all the soulful vibrational beings that is highly talented in a lot of things, just like I am, should be a part of the Creators League. It should not only just be these social media famous sellouts that's in the Creators League. And yeah, like this is all facts. This is all I'm gonna say for now, and take a look at the take a look at the status for you all to really sink into your brain. I really need you all to really think about this. How in the world do famous YouTubers, TikTokers, Instagrammers get to be a part of the Creators League with sporting events? Like when you look at NFL Network, you see people like Destroying, Duke Dennis, RDC World playing flag football but you don't see no social media people that's not social media famous be a part of those things there's people that's like they only have like 500 subscribers and below that's real talented in football and basketball and all these different sport events that could be a part of creators league you see this you see social media famous people they're the new celebrities they're the new hollywood celebrities this is why social media influencers, man, they're the new government presidents, celebrities, famous people, man. Like, this shit makes no sense, man. You know, the, the creator's lead, the creator lead needs to be boycotted and banned from these social media famous people if I'm going to go that far. I'm, I'm really going to go that far. Or we can have social media famous people on the creator's lead versus under the radar spiritually awake talented so social media people that's not social media famous so non-social media famous people versus social media famous people in the creators league should play each other because all people need to be in the creators league if we got a social media that's the new rule if anyone has a social media ready you got 21 followers 100 followers it don't matter how many followers or less followers you got if you got a social media, you should be a part of Creators League. That's all I'm going to say.